Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good afternoon to all of you especially madam as me uh, madam asmiza are you doing okay madam shout okay if you're doing okay <laughs> anybody else are you guys doing okay okay so guys um before we start everything i want to ask who wants this 50 ringgit anybody want this 50 ringgit so you guys don't want okay so uh, it seems like all of you are interested in money right but today, I'm not going to show you any basics of defense. I'm not going to be talking about Zina, Taskira or anything. Today, I'm going to be talking to you about how to get involved with my, with business. Okay, so, those two, they're, um, they're a professional billionaires in this planet. Okay? So, before I start talking about business uh, to you guys, who am I to stand in front of you all to start talking about business, right? Who am I, right? Okay, just let me introduce myself. My name is Afik Sofian. I am the number four most richest person in the planet and I own four companies, which is Petronas, Caltex, Shell and also Petrol. Okay, that's why I'm rich. Uh, my side occupation is uh, I'm a motivator. I go to schools, colleges, universities. I give motivations, uh, uh, rise their spirit up to know their purpose of life. And I studied in IIUM Gambam. If you want further details, you can go to my Instagram at I'm Afixofen or Twitter at Afixofen. Okay, so let's get started. What is a business? Well, technically speaking, Business is an organization or enterprising entity engaged in commercial, industrial, or professional activities. Business is also a very famous profession in this generation because everything in this world involves money. Is that true or not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So remember, uh, everything, everything, in not everything in this world is free. Even a non-seeable thing such as time. Can you get free time? No. You need to earn free time, right? So it's not free, right? Okay, so let's get started. Why do we need to start a business? <laughs> okay, number one. When starting a business, it is a way for you to, uh, to earn money. Like, uh, you know when people sell satay ikan at, uh, outside the school, right? That's their way of business. You know, uh, my, my way of business is I build a company. I sell um, oil to, the, to all around the world. So it doesn't matter if it's a big or small company, at least it's a business. You get to earn money, you get to earn profit. That's what a business is. Number two, uh, you, need, you can start a business because it is a way to find freedom. When you start your own business, you will have all the free time you have because you will not be isolated in that room. You will not be, uh, you will not be like um, filled with boredom. You will find freedom in yourself. You will know what to do when you have uh, when you start a business number three by starting a business it is a method to learn new skills by meaning of new skills when you earn when you learn new skills you will uh, experience more in your life right so you will become a better person for the future and number four when you start a business you will be able to understand more about the the outside world when i say you will learn more about the outside world it's not, the outside world is not as good as you think. It's full of hate, it's full of crime, it's full of rape. So when you, um, when you start a business, you will be able to adapt to the outside world and maybe you will know how to change the world outside there, okay? So, uh, so uh, these are the four points of why you should start a business. Okay, um, as I said, when you learn uh, about business, you will, uh, you will learn new skills, right? new skills to improve your life. So these are the skills that are needed to become a businessman, a successful businessman. Number one, self-discipline. Number two, people and communication skills. Number three, personal passion and drive. Number four, market knowledge, money management skills, and good leadership skills, okay? So let's continue. People often ask me, uh, Brother Chop, do we need passion to start a business, right? Well, the answer is no. People often take business as a side occupation. What it means is they just do it for fun, to, uh, to fill in their free time. Like maybe you're bored, you're at home, you've, uh, you're not enjoying playing games, right? But why not just like have fun and earn money? Maybe go do chores to add somebody else, maybe just sell a lemonade stand outside your house. 
So it can be a side occupation. You don't need passion to do it. Number two, um, people normally do business is not because they're passionate about uh, doing business. It's because it's as their side income for life. Uh, as an example, normally when teachers they teach at school, right? But you will realize that they will also sell some food to the students, right? That is also that counts as a business for them to earn an extra money for their life. And um, when you, when you do a business, uh, it doesn't need to be a big or small business. It can be no anything, just any type of business. Maybe like when I was in primary school, I used to sell uh, snack bars for fifty cents. Okay, uh, so that's. Uh, the answer to why do we need passion okay so the advantages of starting a business uh, number one you will learn how to earn money okay just uh, everybody knows that business you will get profit right so that's uh, number one you learn how to get money number two you will uh, when you learn to get money you will have some savings for the future when you have some savings for the future okay uh, maybe you guys will get married right in the future you can, uh, your financial is already stabilized if you start your business early. Okay, you have some money that you have saved. Number three, independency. When uh, you learn independency when you start a business because, okay, imagine when your company, when your business starts to spike down. And then, uh, when it spikes down, you can't rely on others to help you. You need to be independent, you need to know what to do, you need to be able to think independently whether you should, uh, whether what you should do, maybe you should stop the business or continue, or what you, what do you need to do to keep the business going, right? Okay, so number four, uh, business is a way to show our appreciation to our parents. Okay, remember, since kindergarten, primary school, high school, um, college life, all those all those time, our parents have been paying for our tuition fees, our foods, our everything. I mean, our clothes, everything, right? So why not we start a business early and then uh, uh, and then at an early age before even they retire we start giving them money maybe by paying them uh, paying their medical fees maybe by paying their house rent or everything like that right and number five uh, advantages of starting a business you will learn about commitment uh, uh, what, what I mean by learning about commitment is. Will you be committed in your business? Maybe one day uh, people will say that your business has no more has no more future, right? And then uh, when people say that, will you like uh, just give up on your business, or will you stay committed and keep going um, uh, until one day your business goes up? It's up to you to think. That's why you learn about the uh, commitment when you start a business. So. People always say that they always dream to become a millionaire, right? Why not when you hear people say that, ask them to wake up and walk the talk. Okay? Don't dream, just walk the talk. If you talk more and but your actions are less, there's no use to it, okay? So in conclusion, this business, the meaning of business, the activity of business, the profession of business. Everything is, uh, everybody is able to do it. No matter what standard you are, may, maybe you're just a kindergartner, maybe you're um, a king in Malaysia. It doesn't matter, you can start a business. Uh, there's no law that says that you can only start a business when you've reached 12 years old. It doesn't say that anybody can do it, okay? Um, when you start a business, as I said, you will learn to become better. And when you learn to become better, make sure when you be, when you become successful, make a change to the world. I will end my speech with a quote from Abraham Maslow: "You will either step forward into growth or step back into safety." That's it from uh, me, Afik Sofian, and thanks for lending me your voice.